Congested area is a term which most UK drone pilots will recognise as something mentioned within the drone code, training videos and regulation documents. But what does it actually mean? Hey everyone, my name is Sean and welcome to Geeks Varna. Today we're bringing you the next video in our UK EASA drone rule series, where we will be looking at the definition of a congested area. For more on this series explaining the new rules drone flies in the UK will need to follow from January 2021, click the link in the description and to get the next in the series hit the subscribe button. Today we're going to be talking about the concept of a congested area in terms of the new regulations but this video is still valid for those flying their drones before the end of the year because frankly the definition itself will not change. In the current drone code you will hear this mentioned as a built up area but we are talking about the same thing. So is a row of houses or a garage and a factory next to each other a congested area or do you need a village or town sized housing area? In a recent live stream we put the question to Andrew Hamilton who is the former drone lead at the CAA, the man who brought us the UK drone registration scheme. Yeah, many of the viewers of Geeks Vana have, uh, have, have, have responded that the, uh, that the congested area rules is quite vague. Uh, so the idea of, of an area being actually congested at one time or not the other time of day. How would you explain the congested areas in a format that, that the viewers can easily understand? It's very difficult because um, the congested area definition talks, well, the definition was is, is law, is, is in law. So it was introduced by the statute, the government made it the law of the air navigation order and it defines the, um, the congested area. The problem you've got, and again, we go back to our legal team in the CA because we get asked this quite a lot. You know, we can't put our own interpretation of what that means because it's never been challenged in a court of law. So we need, and again, this is a problem again in the whole of the drone industry. Some of the, it's very difficult to get a prosecution um, because things are difficult to prove. So was the drone 402 feet? Was it 398 feet? You know, was it visual line of sight? It was a bit foggy, but could he still see it? You know, it's things like that. And I think until things go to court and get challenged, um, where they get appealed, so you get a good barrister says, well, actually, this this is not a settlement, yes. uh, not in a congested area. It was three o'clock in the morning doing a roof survey. Where's the problem with that? There's no one, you know, it's, it's in a, an industrial estate, um, but there was no one working. No, but it's still defined as a congested area. So it needs to be, someone needs to go to court and if there's any volunteers out there in the chat <laughs> that wants to, wants to be prosecuted and go to court and take one for the team, then, um, but it, it's got to be, it's got to be challenged in court. And that's all I can say. And it's very difficult for the CA to say, well, okay, a settle, uh, congested area, um, if it's commercial or industrial, it, it, it's not congested between 11 at night and six in the morning. That makes sense. It would be very difficult for the CA to, because then what happens if they, they do overtime and there's a load of people working in there at one in yes. the morning for yes, a rush exactly. of goods? Yeah. It then becomes a congested area and it's going to give the wrong advice. So. so that doesn't give us a clear and absolute definition. And as Andrew stated in the video, anyone who looks at a map can understand that different people would interpret it differently. So it has to remain something the law decides. The air navigation order talks about the term congested area as a congested area means in relation to a city, town or settlement, any area which is substantially used for residential, commercial, industrial or recreational purposes. This is interesting when taken with what Andrew Hamilton said on the live show clip. Any area used substantially for those uses could mean different things to different people. For instance, I live in a village now, so the residential area I'm in is far less populated with houses and therefore people as my previous home in the city. So could this be argued as my interpretation? Put simply, no. The definition in law is wide. Anywhere predominantly used for recreational, residential or industrial purposes is seen as a congested area. With such a wide definition under the air navigation order, it would take the clarification of an appeal process to gain a definitive rule and to date there has not been the required case to set anything like precedent. So you have to use common sense. If you look at a map or frankly look around you in the area you want to fly in, if all you see is residential streets, then you're in a congested area. Also, if you're in a park full of people, then that park is likely a congested area under the air navigation order and you must respect the separations outlined. The same park at daybreak with nobody around could be argued as not within a congested area, although you should still ensure the park itself isn't within a built up area. 
be ready to have that assessment challenged in court. In terms of the new EASA UK drone regulations as set out in the CAA CAP 722 document, it shows that the use of drones within congested areas, depending on their weight and qualification of the pilot, would be possible. For instance, a sub 250 gram or Class Z zero drone can be flown in the A1 category of airspace within congested areas without the need to even register it. However, this essentially only means toy drones. Anything more complex with the ability to store data, such as the Mavic Mini or, or Mini 2, would need to be registered for privacy reasons, but can then be flown within congested areas. A quick note of caution here though, this does not mean that once registered you can fly your Mini 2 however you like in a congested area. Safety is still key and risking dangerous flights believing you have a blanket permission could land you in hot water. There are still important limitations which you could easily find yourself breaching if you're not careful. Stay tuned to Geeks Varna for our upcoming video explaining drone classes. This will be important information for the DJI Mini flyers in particular. Also, the definition of a congested area remains important to those hobbyist drone flyers who are using aircraft over 250 grams, but without a certificate such as the A2 CFC. They will still need to keep away from congested areas. So where does this leave us with our original question, what is a congested area? This needs to be a decision you make carefully, having inspected mapping apps and taking into account time of day and the use of the congested area. Personally, as a general rule of thumb, if there is a house or two, I would fly, but still keep well away from the buildings. Although, as you will not want to fly over anyone, it's likely your flight path would avoid those buildings anyway. Certainly, avoid flying too close to any village or town centres, and remember a park in a town centre is seen as congested. Overall, it remains a personal choice, but if you're in any doubt, remember your choice could well end up being analysed in a court of law, so be careful which choice you make. As mentioned previously in this video, we have more coming on the new UK drone regulations, so if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. There's a link in the description to the rest of our EASA UK drone rules playlist, and if you're still watching this video, would you mind hitting the like button? I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video. I tell you what, while you're here, I'll, I'll tell you a joke, shall I? So, I encountered a video on YouTube that said how to stop procrastinating. I thought, how handy is that? So I saved it for later. Boom, boom, See you next time.